A reader of our website asked the question of whether you can lay down an audio track before you add images or video in an iMovie uh, project. So we're going to take a look at doing that. Now usually I recommend laying down the video first. If you lay down the video first you have more precise control over where the audio goes but it is possible to do that. So we're going to start off by going underneath the file menu and from the file menu I'm going to choose new project and I'm going to call this my friend the pigeon and I'm going to automatically add a cross dissolve even though that's not entirely necessary for this example. So now we have a new project and the first thing I want to do is grab some music for that. So I'm going to click over here on the music tab and when I do that it's going to show my iTunes library. I already have it filtered down here. Uh, I put in pigeon before so it would filter to this song. This is the proud pigeon theme song. I'm going to add that. And now you'll notice what's happening is that iMovie is showing you a little uh, thumbnail. It's a single frame indicating that you've added some music. The reason why it's just the small square here is it doesn't know how long uh, the project is going to be. It doesn't know if you're going to add other things. And so it's just showing that audio as just one little square, just the same way as if you added a photo in there, it would show that. So what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to grab a little bit of video. I'm going to grab a couple seconds of this pigeon here sitting on my lap in San Francisco. And I'm going to drag that up onto the audio. Now when I drag it onto the audio, you'll notice that the audio is expanding. It's dropped those cross dissolves in for me at the beginning and the end of that, so I could add some other frames in here. And you'll notice that the audio shows three dots at the end and that means that the song continues and so the audio that I've laid down is longer than the video. So I could do something like start off with a little bit of opening fireworks for this and I'm going to drop the fireworks here in the beginning and now I'm going to insert and when I do this you're going to see that I've got a presentation that now runs the length of the audio and so if I hit play I'm going to be able to see the whole presentation. <laughs> And that's all you need to do to add some audio first and then add in some video inside of iMovie.